Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion. The fit for today is a scene from the very first season of the Spider-Man cartoon where the villain Cameo pretends to be Spider-Man. Let's take a look at a video. Guys, science made a new discovery. All right, let's see it. Yeah, Northwestern University discovered that there's an ocean underneath the Earth, 700 kilometers underneath the Earth. And this ocean is three times the volume of the surface level oceans of the Earth. So yeah, like lots of water. How crazy is that? So this research is not new. This is actually based on this article that was published in the journal Science back in June of 2014. So this is almost a decade old. And this research has to do with a type of rock called ringwoodite that can trap water molecules inside of it. And these scientists hypothesize that as this rock moves deeper into the Earth's mantle, it gets heated up and that causes melting where the water can come out of the rock. And so it's not a vast flowing ocean, it's just hydrous ringwoodite or rocks that have water molecules trapped inside them. And these scientists estimate that the amount of water that's trapped under the Earth's surface is probably equivalent to the amount that is on and above the Earth's surface. And just so you know, that is not enough for a global flood to actually cover uh, all of the Earth's surface. And that's probably why whoever decided to suddenly share this research again and pretend that it is a new discovery also decided to change the amount of water that was estimated to be under the Earth's surface. So now they're claiming it is three times the amount of water that is on the Earth's surface because that would actually make it enough to cover all of the Earth if there were a global flood and all of the water that were trapped in these rocks under the surface had been ejected to the surface, which would also be entirely catastrophic uh, to the Earth and its integrity. So that very clearly didn't happen. Do you remember the flood of Noah? First the windows of heaven were open, then also the great deep broke forth. Here's what biblical cosmology looks like. Yeah, there's waters above, there's waters around, and there's waters underneath. So this is an accurate representation of how the biblical authors represent their cosmology, at least the authors of the Hebrew Bible. And we actually discussed this cosmology and the flat earth that is represented in the Bible on the most recent episode of the Data Over Dogma podcast, which was just released on Monday. However, we have not thought that this is what the earth looked like for thousands of years, and this research does not corroborate anything about this notion of cosmology. So guys, this is not new. Science is finally catching up. Before you know it, they're gonna be telling us about the waters above outer space. Don't hold your breath on that one, but until then, continue to read your Bible and trust God. Love you guys. How about learn to think critically and Google competently so you can see through this intentional disinformation and make it less lucrative for people to keep making it and spreading it on the internet.